thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Power Apps and a Snap. So just a little reminder in case you're joining us for the first time, this is a quick dummy style tutorial. We have a 10 minute countdown clock and we have been working on building an app within Microsoft Power Apps on how to schedule um, office space um, throughout different offices. So and for maybe for people who work hybrid um, and go in and out from home. So um, this is obviously something that you can just learn these skills and transfer it to a different type of app. Um, but hopefully you've been learning some good stuff with us. I've got my colleague John here who's been teaching me some um, great tips and skills along the way and guiding me. How's it going, John? It's going good. Good. I'm so glad. All right. So um, I think let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to work on, I think you said we're going to be adding some scripts. Correct. Correct. Okay. To me, I feel like that's like a command type thing, like to dumb that down for dummies like me. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. It's giving like commands to the app, right? Yes. You're yes. writing the script for the command. Mm -hmm. All right. Shall we get started? Yes. All right, let's start our clocks and give me my first instructions. Okay, so let's go to screen two. Okay. And then we're gonna insert, so on the top. Okay. And a text label. Drag it under the office on the screen. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, good. And then on the top where it says text between the quotation marks. Okay. Okay. You're going to write max capacity. Then colon space. Then outside the quotation marks, you're going to put uh, the symbol for end. Space. Then you're going to write look up. That one. Office. Comma. All uppercase ID. Equals. Data card value. One. One, okay. One, yeah. Dot selected. Dot ID. Lowercase d, yeah. Close parentheses. Okay. Dot capacity. I have to put the dot after the oh. parentheses. Dot capacity, sorry. There we go. There you go. Now okay. that script will allow you to see what the max capacity of the office that you have currently selected is, whatever office you select, because they all have different max capacities, right? Okay. Second part is going to be a script to see how many people are occupying that office in that day. So same thing, we're just going to start with the insert. Okay. Text label. And then you can put it right where max capacity is to the right. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I'll extend this one out longer. Okay. And then on the top where it says text, you can just put like current occupancy. Then colon space outside of the quotation marks, put the end sign. Okay. Yeah. Then you're going to write count rows. Count row. Okay. So rows. Okay. Yeah. Filter. Open parentheses. Scheduling, comma, office dot ID, 
Big D or little D? Little D. Okay. Yeah. Equals data card value one. Dot selected. Hmm. Dot ID. Little D. Little D. Little D. Then you're going to give it a space. And sign. And sign again. It's a double end sign. Yeah, space. Date. Equals data card value. And this one isn't going to be data card value one. I believe it's going to be data card value 10. You can select that one. No, it's not 10. So what we, we can do to figure it out is you go to the date right on the app. You know where where the app is and the yeah. date yeah so just select that select that again and then on the left side it's gonna sh it's gonna highlight okay so it's data card value two so you go back to the text label yeah that one and then just put data card value two there okay. you go see how it highlights it yep um dot selected date Shut up already yeah and then close parentheses close parentheses all right there we go so that one is going to show you what the occupancy is in whatever date you have selected so let's what is this press... here that's just uh it's just say that there's a formula there it's, it's not really relevant mm, it's just something get... that shows okay. up so you can go okay. to the that top there on the play button and we can just start from the beginning to show how this whole thing works mm. so All preview right. create new schedule Right, and then you select a date, whatever date. Next week. And then you select an office. And then it shows you the max capacity of the office and the current occupation, the occupancy of that office, right? How many people are there? In this case, there's zero, so you're good. If you go and do the same thing for that office, again, so you go back, Go back. Sorry, I got ahead. Okay. No, that's okay. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> and you go like that same date that you had, I oh, think. Okay, same date. Yep. Yeah, and then select the same office. You're going to see that there's going to be a one occupancy there. Ah, see? got it. Yeah. And that's it for t this video. Wow. All right. That was an easy way just to like really make it a little bit more um, personalized for the users so that they have more information and um, <clears throat> can have easier access for booking um, office space. I love this. Uh, perfect. Wow. We did this in under eight minutes. That's incredible. And those yeah. commands are not easy. I do have a question, though. Like, what's the best way for people to learn these commands? Like, Well, in the Microsoft website, they have all these commands and all they do. So if you can just, if you look it up, they have detailed explanations on what each of them do. It's really awesome. easy to learn. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. Great to know. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you so much, John. And thank you for joining us for this quick episode of Power Apps and a Snap. And join us next time to make this app even more personalized. And thank you. Thank you.